Do you have any advice if you have had the mindset of, I need to spend X amount of hours to study? Very bad. Even though you shouldn't. Over my years, I've always felt panicked that I feel like I haven't studied enough. This is a really, really common question that I'm going to answer as soon as I drink some water. I think I actually have a um, video on this on my Facebook or, or Instagram or something that talks exactly about that topic. So it is really, really common. And um, I've been busy with stuff recently, but I normally what I do is hold fortnightly or monthly live, um, live study clinics where I, I talk about topics like this and I talk about what can you be doing in uh, high school, like studying effectiveness, tips, we, we dive into these things. So that's something, if you're interested in that, I really recommend um, following my personal page to get that next time you can. Um, and, and like we talk about this type of stuff all the time. So there is a really clear distinction that needs to be made in terms of studying versus learning. Not all studying is learning. In fact, if you're not a very good studier, not a lot of studying is actually learning. And that's really, really important because just because you're sitting there, butt on your seat, reading books and studying X amount of hours doesn't actually mean that you got any learning done. So you should really be calibrating yourself on how much learning have I achieved. If you calibrate yourself based on that, then you'll see that you might have spent a lot of time studying without actually having learned much. Now, the difficulty there, looking at it from maybe your point of view, where you've never studied more effectively, so you don't know how close to the limit you are, you don't have a sense for whether that was a lot or not, rule of thumb, almost universally, you can double your efficiency, at least, rule of thumb. It's extremely, extremely rare for me, like less than one in a thousand for me to meet a student who at their high school normal level of studying cannot double their studying efficiency. So if you're studying a certain amount of hours, however much learning that occurred during that mentally in terms of actual high quality learning, you should be able to double that in that time. So set that as your benchmark. And then start modifying a few things with your studying technique. You know, watch my videos and whatever. Modify your technique and then see what effect that has on your internal sense of learning and try to creep that up more and more. And then as you calibrate more and more to the sense of learning, you will start feeling really frustrated at the amount of time that you spend rather than the amount of learning that happens. And when you reach a certain learning goal, then it doesn't, it becomes quite weird to keep studying because you've already finished your learning. So it doesn't really make sense to just keep doing that mindlessly. Like you've already learned it. What are you doing studying more? And that's really the way that you want to break out of it is that you want to first calibrate your understanding of study, the activity versus learning, which is cognitively what's happening in your head. And then once you've got that, then you can start playing around with things. Uh, would you say the same for a year 12 high school student for the studying habits? Actually, yes, uh, Holly. Year 12 is really like the ideal time to start working on it. In fact, maybe even year 11, but you know, normally with our students, I start working with them starting from year 12. Um, and that's the best time to start because you kind of finished level one, year 11, you get an idea for like studying, but it, it hasn't been long enough for like really bad habits to have completely sunken in yet. There's still some malleability there. And you've got heaps of time. So even if you completely screw up year 12, you can just completely like overcome that in year 13. Whereas in year 13, there is like a marginal increased risk because of the fact that you have to reach a rank score. Having said that, if your studying efficiency is so low, you can't reach a rank score, that's a serious problem. And you're probably not actually gonna get into medical school with that anyway, if you don't work on your studying efficiency, to be totally honest. So if you're in year 12, it's like ideal, ideal, ideal. So I recommend every year 12 student to be doing that. And that's really where my focus is. And that's what I try to push with my personal um, videos that I upload and the live clinics that I do. I try to reach students that are in high school to prevent the bad habits from forming in the first place. And you will be really amazed at how many different studying techniques that there are that you never get taught. Quick question for you to answer for yourself. How many times have you actually been taught how to study effectively?